the final day here at the Irish Open 2024, sponsored by Poker Stars and Paddy Power Poker. And what an awesome week it's been. From a record-breaking main event with 3,233 players and a prize pool of over 3 million euro, we saw some worthy participants take some big slices of the prize money. We have crowned deserving champions from all over the world this week at the iconic Royal Dublin Society with 35 memorable events and buy-ins ranging from €135 to 5k. Something definitely for everyone. Poker players felt the pressure in the main event with such huge numbers and big prize money up for grabs. Throughout the venue, the buzz was really alive. The excitement building every day in the main hall throughout the huge cash game area and into the early hours every single night in the newly named Players' Lounge, the Crack Den. Players were kept entertained morning, noon and night with live music, dinners out, traditional Irish dancing and so many events led by the MC extraordinaire Phil Baker, who kept everyone on their toes at all times. And how, how did yesterday go for you, Paul? Another seventh. I played three tournaments this week. Long. Yeah, well, anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sven, did you say you're yeah. 20 years of age? Exactly, yeah, I'm 20 years old. You know here in Ireland that you're not allowed to play poker until 21. You're actually too young to play the poker. Um, got you, Sven, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I could ask the cameraman, come around here, please. He also won the Lovey Legs competition in Butlins for three years running. Check out these legs. Absolutely. It's a thing. It's a beautiful thing beginning of the week I wasn't going to come you were doing my job way too well <laughs> how was that for you? Laura that's how badly they were struggling <laughs> they had absolutely nobody else to said try and try and be a little just try and be about 20% of what Laura can do I think I hit about 15% but listen no it's, it's, it's been going so well here this week the numbers are huge the people have been great they've really enjoyed it this year uh, year two here in the RDS we are a little more educated on what we were going to do just everything just went up a little stage this year and we're delighted we had England versus Ireland where the PokerStars ambassadors and players got ready to feel the heat in many different activities from shuffleboard to cornhole and the casino night. The Crack Den was a blast every single night where players joined to drink, chat, dance, sing and win prizes galore. Yeah, great week. It's actually surprised. I'm just looking there, 5,300 in that mini and 3,200 in the main. It's, it's year two. But what a change. There's a lot of technological changes that were came in. The registration system was, uh, the, that process was improved. The way we see players was was improved. The way we can move players around when we're breaking down tables was improved. So we've introduced an awful lot of technology to the event this year, like a serious amount. A bit overwhelming when I kind of looked at it all together and you have people like Nick saying, this is a lot to take on lads. This is a lot of technology for an event of this size to just introduce. But it's all worked, it's worked, it's worked very well actually, it's brilliant. All the players say to me, they come here, this is just the one place where everyone lets their hair down and has a wild time. Myself included. <laughs> <laughs> We've made this an event that people want to come to, not just for the poker, the bands, the karaoke, the shuffleboard competitions, the beer pong competitions, that's become part of the event as much as the poker at this stage. Um, I really believe that's the big selling part of this event. The 3,233 players in the main event reduced down day by day. Until finally, we were left with just one. Who took the trophy, the bragging rights and the 415,000 euro. Oh! Queen, nine, two. Easy game, say it. Say it, he takes the lead with Queen with a jack kicker. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with just the river to go, we now have a... <laughs> <laughs> One queen on the river, ladies and gentlemen. 
the Irish Open champion for 2000. We have our brand new champion, Tero Lovilia. Congratulations. Well done. How are you feeling you. right now? Right now, of course, excellent. And uh, as you saw, I almost passed out when this all stress come out of my body and mind. Now it's coming back. That's good. I think it's shock and excitement all in one, right? Yeah, probably, probably. What did you think to your final table? Are you proud of the way that you played? I started it as a chip leader when we start the day. And my first one hour was like horrible. I, I lost basically every pot. At least I, I feel like it. I went back to the 13 million to 7, 8 million or something. So that I survive on the first break, it felt like a victory at that point. Last two nights, I slept like four and a half hour. So in my mind, I was not here when we started today. And also making the final table in that point felt it like a Okay, minimum uh, result. You're doing it for Finland. Uh, how have you enjoyed Ireland? Eh? Coming back next year for this? Yeah, <laughs> pretty sure I'm, I'm coming yeah, back definitely. here. I want to see my photo on the wall. Yeah. A truly fantastic champion and an exceedingly magical week at the Royal Dublin Society for this year's unforgettable Irish Open 2024.